previous video we just uh, executed uh, SQL query okay query like this but in uh, this video I am going to show you how to um, execute a store processor without parameter later I will explain you how to explain uh, execute store processor with parameter actually store processor is a predefined SQL query it, it gives the um, it gives more performance while you executing query um, it is uh, very securable also so first thing we have I am showing you how to create a store processor see for this query if you want to create store processor create this is a simple syntax for creating so store processor so I am going to execute it now our store processor is created see this if you execute this one um, you are, we are getting the same result ok so our query is very in a short form we no need to write a very big uh, inline query actually in few projects queries like will uh, will be 1000 lines or 2000 lines will be uh, queries will be like this at the time uh, if you paste all the 2000 lines here it will be complicated for application so we have to use the short names so copy this name this is our store processor name copy this go here um, in the double quotation you give this um, your store processor name ok here this command type previously we pasted a text format inline query SQL queries uh, that is raw SQL query but now we are used we are using this uh, uh, store processor name so store processor you have to select this option store processor and the same thing same like the um, output going to store in the same table so uh, no need to change anything um, just run this okay I got some error this error so it would not find store processor my post store process name okay so i made a mistake uh, go to here here i created the store processor in master database it should not be in the master it is it should be uh, in the test database right so what i have to do is go to select test database and then create okay now the store processor created inside this test database so good if we execute now yeah it gives 10 rows this is how we can execute the store processor in UiPath 